Welcome back to the second installment of the series, The Science Behind the Algorithm. In this series, we are looking behind the code to truly see how you are being manipulated by social media companies and your smart devices. My name is Connor. I'm a network infrastructure and cloud computing major in college. Let's get into it. This episode, we are going to be looking at how your screen time links directly to a dopamine effect that happens. When you get a notification, your brain instantly gets a rush, a dopamine rush. It gets you to look at your smartphone, you know? You get a notification, instantly have to check it. But what if you didn't have that? Is there a way to cut down on this dopamine effect, to cut down on the need to constantly be checking notifications and all that on your smartphone? Well, yes, there is. And we're gonna go through a couple of ways now on how you can do that. But first, I think we need to explain the screen time. All right, so what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to go into screen time, we're gonna to go to see all activity, we're gonna go down to see pickups. Now this is really interesting because this is over the last week. And in the last week, I've had in total an average of 107 pickups per day. And my most amount of pickups was 427 and that was last Wednesday. Now, most of those were coming from Discord and Twitter because I message people on those apps. And that is really interesting because the pickups are that dopamine effect. They're the rush to check who the notification was from, why I got it, who it's from, what did they say, and the second one was from Twitter. Now, you can see going down, on average, I had 274 notifications coming in. That is really interesting. It is interesting because I got more notifications from Twitter, and yet I picked up the phone more for Discord. This is because of that dopamine effect. The dopamine effect is that I got a message from someone, I want to know who it is. And that is the power of the dopamine effect. You wanna know how to mitigate this issue? Well, the way to mitigate this issue is actually really simple. The way you're gonna solve this issue is you're gonna turn off notifications for any app that doesn't need them. I did this a couple of days ago and it has saved my life and in a lot of ways you might say to yourself all right so what are you talking about why do you want me to turn off notifications it's to save yourself from getting this dopamine effect to rush to your phone and to get on these notifications do they help yes notifications can be very helpful and i'll be honest okay getting an apple watch it has helped me get over this dopamine effect However, is there other ways to get around this? Yes. If you go into the downtime setting, you can choose a time during the day where you can only allow phone calls and texts. You can set app limits to prevent you from using an app for over 30 minutes, which is very handy. You can set block apps for certain days. You can even do things such as, I don't want any distractions i just want a phone you can do that through the screen time and that is the power of the dopamine effect and why you should be more cautious when accepting notifications and why this is a tool to wreck your life if you choose to avoid the functionality that comes with the screen time sharing app so thanks very much for watching this video if you liked it hit the like button subscribe Comment down below or join the Discord. My name is Connor and I'll catch you next one. Goodbye.